That doesn't. Sad. That's really sad. We need to go bury this it. This is in my pants. It's weird. Okay, we're, we're gonna go bury. We're gonna go bury it. We're gonna go give it a prop proper burial. Mm, poor chicken. Can I hug this thing? If I if I. Oh, don't no. Don't hug it. I kind of want to. I think hug that's it. okay. Oh, I'm actually right in the correct area. Yeah. Maybe you can if it's out of your pants, but like. Uh. Ah. Not the dead chicken in the bathroom. I don't want to hug the dead chicken. Oh, I thought you were talking about hugging the dead. Like, okay. No. I mean, there's. Yeah, you can hug the porta john. Here we go. Make yourself useful, dog. So this is a little. If you look, no, not the dog. This is a little pet cemetery. If you, I don't know if you guys can see, but. There's like a little cat and a bone thing here. Oh, it's maybe that's like a gerbil wheel, it looks like. I fully admit, I don't know if you feel this way about your cat, Daisy, but I would put needles in a pet cemetery with like a little tombstone and memorials and stuff like that. We always made our own. Aw. So we have, well, at our own house and stuff, we would bury them and make little tombstones for them. I had a little spot out in the woods as a pet cemetery. Hey, the chick is happy now. Yeah, happy. Ah! I'm so much more excited this time around, you guys. I'm amped. I'm amped for Dropsy right now. Amped. Amped. Like the energy drink. Amped. It's not called amped. It's called amp, I think. Okay. Let's look at our map and see what our objectives are. Oh, our car is all the way over here, by the way. Yeah, whatever. You can just click anywhere and go there. I love that they implemented that. Um, I think that was a good idea because it... You had the open world where you couldn't, so you got to explore it all on your own for a little while. And so it didn't get as tedious as it could have because they eventually implemented the map, which I think is, is really nice. Okay, so... Right, okay. I don't remember... The, the objective is to go to the S building. We did go there. I don't recall what else uh, we need to do. Yeah, we need to go back, I think, because we have the chick now. I, th oh, I think. that's right. I think that's what it was. Because I know at one point it. you try to do it and you don't have all your animal friends, and he's like, dude. Shit. It's nighttime, so. You can still go in there. Must be this tall to be a Twinkie. Uh, you can go in there, but I don't think the guy is actually in there right now. What is that? Oh, that's the mouse. Oh, God. I, I mistook- Did we had a mouse? No, I mistook it for like a bloody splotch on the floor. It's gray. I, I For a minute, I really thought- Oh, go oh good. He's in there. Thank yeah. God. Uh, the first time I played before we did all this- Oh, shit. Really? We're- What? Wow. <laughs> this is the worst posse ever. They cannot stick together. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, dogs are fucking stupid. <laughs> Pokey little puppy being too curious, getting into a bunch of crap. I take that back, by the way. I'm very much a dog person. I love dogs. They are pretty stupid, though, sometimes. They're pretty stupid, though. Oh, well. There's nothing more stupid than my Conyer, though. I was told... I, w I feel false advertising. I was told my Conyer was smart. She is smart. She just chooses not to be a lot then of... why does she just fall? Why does she fall off her perch? Well, puppies Just do that randomly. too. She's not even doing anything. It's like if I were standing here and I just fell over. You for no almost reason. did, just like two minutes ago. That's true. I almost did. So. I lost my balance. But birds are all about balance, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Yours is just getting too used to the domesticated life and mm, domestic. Spoiled little burb domestic surroundings so this objective is we just lost the dog and he's up there where we were when we uh, got the mouse where we got oh well in he'll the be mines. there eventually okay. right right but in the yeah mines. well yeah we'll get the mines first so we haven't actually done that um okay we actually haven't done that particular puzzle yet where we go in the mines and we help the miner and there's some steps to this there's actually a lot of steps so here's the miner talk to him if you want to but he's kind of surly right now so he's against the s building 
like say something else? Free the people. Free the people. But he, if you notice here, he has like the stick over here. Oh, and a picture. Oh, I forgot about the picture. I if I can, no, I can't take the picture. I didn't think so. So we got to give him something from the mine. Oh, right? do I have that right now? I might have it. You, if you've got it. So we can show this guy certain things. Should I show, show him, him that? I don't <laughs> Look what I found at the mines. Does this press you? <laughs> yeah, if I show him, um, it's a key basically for the mine. And he'll be like, oh, that key plus, th plus this key equals this door opening. And he'll give you a new I don't know why he helps us. I don't know why he just decided to be friendly because he, he still doesn't like us. But I'm cool with it. <laughs> Whatever he wants to do. So do we go back to the mines now? We don't go back to the mines because there's actually another part of... I'll show you. We need actually two of these. Um, oh, yeah. To open it. And so there's... It's it's kind of a little bit of a thing. So here's, here's what we're going to do. We actually have what we need to uh, talk to that vampire. Hey, you remember that woman who thinks we're a vampire? <laughs> Yeah. Because we look so much like a, a vampire. We're going to get past her now. I believe she's down here. Here, here we go. <laughs> this just cracks me up. Like a Viking. And With is sunglasses. that a thing? With sunglasses, yes. Yeah. So this woman seriously thinks that we're a vampire but as you can see around her neck she has like a cross thing and we happen to find one so we're basically gonna make friends Ta-da! <laughs> a mushroom it looks like a mushroom or a pickaxe oh i realized the error of my ways you're not actually a vampire all of a sudden she's not mean you know, if we were a vampire, wouldn't we be trying to, like, suck her blood, or...? I, I don't know. I don't know what vampires do these days. They suck blood, probably. Do they? I mean... They make horrible movies and, like, hit on underage girls or something. I'm not even entirely sure. Like, there's some weird thing with vampires now. I'll hug this thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Viking sunglass, man. I felt like it. So, there's a fishing rod here. I'm gonna take it and I will return with that a, a little later um, because you can go fishing here on this box. But I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, and I'm, the reason I'm not gonna do that is because you catch a fish and it needs to stay alive. And I don't know how long, I haven't tested that. I'm just trying to play it safe. Use my mouse to get in here though. Um, there's a thing. It's a... Uh, what is that? <laughs> it's <laughs> hyping me up there. It is the torso part of of um oh the thingy. The statue thing. The thingy, my bob, yeah. I thought the bird could go in there. I thought so too, but maybe, maybe not. So these guys also need help. Well, they don't need it we should i guess we should they're down in the dumps because i don't know i mean this this looks like a sucky situation they need money or they need money you know oh, let's see. something for their awesome guitars to do is there another tape i, I feel like there's another tape there's yeah. one up there on the top of the truck i have so many cassettes it's oh we are oh right sorry linguini arms can't uh, get the bird to get it. Ta-da! We just picked up two cassettes, but one of them is actually a demo. We'll do something with that later. I want this guy's hair. I, I, I want that guy's hair color. Were there many other adventure games, <clears throat> like classic ones at least, where you had this sort of multiple thing going on, where you have different characters of different sizes doing different things you mean like the the mouse and the yeah the yeah like those um, 
close. I mean, Sam and Max was like that, but only with Sam and Max. Only kind with of. one member of your posse. I don't know. I've been playing through Armicrog, and it does the exact same thing as this, where you have Beak Beak, and he's oh, like no shit. the little dog going around doing things. And I'm like, well, this is familiar. This seems to be like a thing with modern takes on adventure games. I'm wondering, I can't really think of too many older ones that did that. That's sure, there awesome. were plenty with multiple protagonists, like Sam and Max or Day of the Tentacle, you know, LucasArts stuff. Especially. Right, right. But not many where you have like a very different sizes doing completely different things to explore the same environments. Right. Which is, uh, it's kind of cool. I like that. It makes the puzzles more... Um. Oh, what about uh, Maniac Mansion? You said Day of the Tentacle. I don't know if you said Maniac Mansion or well, not, but... Yeah, it has multiple. multiple characters, but they're also not... I'm, I'm thinking more like they have such different abilities that it's like... I mean, they're not even the same species, right? So Right. Like multi... Not not gendered, but multi... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you would... What, yeah, what would not just different... Anthropomorphic... Sort of, yeah. Things. Not just different creatures or, you know, different characters, but like totally different creatures. I don't know. It's interesting. I've noticed that a couple of games that are newer are doing that now, as opposed to... I think it's a great idea. Oh, wow. I didn't oh, what is this? You can shoot... Oh, is this new? You can choose, like, which... It might be. This was totally not a thing last time we played. All right, I'm sleeping till nighttime so I can get this garlic. That's very helpful. So, awesome. it's like dusk. Yeah, so she's still... You're still here. Damn it! Hang on. I need, I need this woman to go to bed. Like, for reals. Yeah, I think you selected dusk instead of nighttime. Ew. Well, let me let me do that thing where I go back and forth until it's... Um, so yeah, while we were... She's still fucking there. Get out of here. Um, while we were discussing the, uh, the sidekick thing, what I was doing is, uh, we had found... There we go. We had found, uh, papers... And they were actually pages to this woman's Bible or this this woman's book, and I gave them back to her. She's still not happy because I think there's five pages missing. I gave her two thus far. Also took uh, some garlic. Garlic is handy. You can cook a nice soup with that. So, uh, this is where we're actually done in this section because the boat is actually... I think we can prove that it's not working, but let me see. Uh, almost no. <laughs> Dropsy's like, I don't even mess with that shit. I don't even know. Yeah, we need some mechanical person. And the rock stars seem to know what they're doing. The guy's got a wrench. Oh, here's um. This is the convict. You'll see a cop around this world. He's looking for this convict. He's looking for a Nintendo cart. Or yeah. And jewelry. I and like children to eat oh shit i think he wants to feed his children actually oh he doesn't yeah. want to eat them probably not i don't know he's pretty shady i did recall how to do this in the past um i'm gonna have to come across it when that time comes because i did figure out how to help him but while we're at it since we need to go back let's go fishing dun, 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 dun. plop this is this how is, fishing works. This is how fishing works. Nobody said it was the funnest thing in the world. Oh, we got a fish. That's a smiley fish. So do we make that other fish happy? Yeah, we do. Oh, well. I know. Just, uh, skip on over there then. I'm going, yeah, that's where I'm going next because we can't, uh, we need that boat to get further in this puzzle, so. Um, I love these kind of puzzles, actually. I like that I have to do a certain amount of things to, to do a certain amount of things. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I like that I can do multiple at once. Uh, it's not, it, it is linear gameplay, but it's not linear in terms of the puzzles. You can do other things in the meantime if you really wanted to. There's a linear progression for the story, but yeah, the right. puzzles are... You can do all sorts of stuff in between each of them that are different right. every time. I mean, last time I totally fucked it up and 
Uh, last time I did this, I didn't realize that I had to like put the sock on the grave. And I didn't do that until like four hours into the game. It was pretty amazing, you guys. <gasps> Hello, tree. Tree. Every single time. Any happier? <gasps> He's smiling now. I don't think I've ever got him to be that happy. Yeah, got her. Keep on making him smile. Oh my god, it's the cutest tree. Even though it's still kind of crying, it's tears of joy. 